Welcome back to Daytime Ottawa here on Rogers TV. Well, today's musicians have been performing together since the early 1990s when they were performing in a rock band, but they have since in 2006 changed their musical direction to form Cornflower Blue. We are joined by Trevor and Teresa. Welcome to the show. It's great to have you both Thank here. You. Thanks, Eric. And th that's true. You, you, were, you have been performing together. Why the change from the rock band to a duo? Well, it's just a lot quieter actually um, <laughs> uh, no the main the main reason for it is is that with the with the rock band uh, e farm um, just not everyone in the band had all of the availability that we had and we wanted to play and perform so we were getting together just the two of us and we because of that we were working on a lot of harmonies and we just liked the way it sounded and um, yeah it came to a head when my first second son Sex and Son, yeah, it's him, right. was, was born, and that's when we decided to do a record, but I'm probably getting ahead of myself a little. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, let's talk about the, the first album. How would you describe it? Well, the first album, we like to call it uh, Electric Folk. Um, uh, it was recorded at home, and, uh, and actually, it's called Infant Songs because I, I literally had my infant son in my arms most of the time that we were recording the thing. And uh, so, it's, and it, the the main reason for that is he, the kid would not sleep <laughs> un unless I was singing to him, and uh, so you know, easy access of uh, Garage Band and a microphone made me think that I could actually record an album at home. And uh, well, Teresa's help. Teresa showed up. I was sleep deprived, and kind of <laughs> right. half out of my mind, and uh, she she took command of the project and uh, made it uh, a reality. And so we have this new record. What's, what's it like home recording versus recording in a studio? You know, it's completely different. It's, uh, the studio, you're obviously uh, paying a fair amount of money, so you're always, always conscious of the clock. You're always conscious of, okay, we want to do this, we want to do that. And it's, it's at odds sometimes with the producer. We hired a professional producer for eFarm's last album, uh, Telephone. And um, the producer was so saying, ah, you know, we got to do another track of this. And, oh, yeah, we're going to overdub all the basses. I thought we were done the bass tracks. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> And so it, it, it got um, tense um, because of the, the money worries. And, right. uh, but at home, it's, you know, let's do another take. Okay, you really want to? Yeah, I think we I think <laughs> should. Yeah. And we, we do 10 of them. And okay, that's enough for tonight. Go home, come back next week, do it again. And uh, so the, the stress and the pressure of all of that stuff and the stress and pressure of making sure it's absolutely perfect yeah. was, was gone as well. And so I, I really enjoyed it a lot better. So how would you describe your, your sound now? Obviously, you've, you've changed from rock band to a duo. How would you describe the sound? And maybe just describe your songwriting process. Well, the sound, I think it's kind of like a mixture of um, Nico Case and Billy Bragg. Uh, Billy Bragg, of course, for the electric guitar solo thing, right. which is kind of, kind of our signature as well, how, how we do it. And Nico Case because of the wordsmithing and uh, how, how we really approach the melodies and uh, craft the words and um, uh, just and and the songs are not really typical. Um, um, Do you work on the songwriting together as a, as a duo? Well, just recently, Teresa is trying to uh, get some yeah. lyrics for me, yeah, and she's late. Yeah. Late yeah. to the lyrics. <laughs> yeah, Trevor really does m most of the work, right. and then I sort of add my uh, few two cents. But uh, yes, he is uh, really the creative artist. Well, yeah. What does the future hold for you? Well, actually, this, uh, this winter, we're going to do a second album as Cornflower Blue. And over the summer, what we did is we had a CD release party. And uh, we invited a whole bunch of our friends over. And so we had drums, bass, and fiddle. And uh, we played a small club just like that. Um, and they joined us in the second set. And you know what? It was great. And because of that, we're going to include all of those guys in the, in the second album as well. Terrific. And so we're going to expand the repertoire, uh, all original songs and um, with uh, uh, extended instrumentation, and it's going to be great. And we're going to try uh, next year to go after a whole bunch of folk festivals and Excellent. see if we can get in. Well, come on back when the second album's ready. Absolutely. Love to have you back. Thank, Thank you, you very much, much for being here Thank today. You. Really appreciate it. Cheers. And you can catch them at the Elmdale House Tavern on January the 22nd. You want to find out more information, visit their website, cornflowerblue.com. Here they are on Daytime Ottawa.